Hi everybody and welcome to my first time playing Victorum. This game was recommended to me by Rathburn or Scud Launcher. Scud Launcher's first. Welcome to the stream Scud Launcher. So let's begin with the tutorial. I think that's probably a good spot to start. Can I do this in windowed mode? I'm sorry. I hope so. Uh, full screen window. There we go. And it still looks good. Nice. There we go. <clears throat> Tutorial. The story of Tutorial Character the Firebrand. Chapter 1. Welcome to Victorium's Tutorial. Every story begins on the chapter map. The Cursed Expanse has been ravaged by the miasma, miasma ages ago, and only mountains remain safe to inhabit. Your location is indicated by the Victorum marker, and available locations of travel are connected by bright ley lines. The goal is to reach the red marker at the end of the map. Hi Shizuku. Continue the story. Tutorial end. The dangerous, a dangerous foe awaited the Victorum here. However, this mountain held a grand nexus which led deeper into Inquisition territory. Endor, equips the mountain to progress, where we are. Okay. What's all this? Health? Probably one of these is mana and one stamina? Not sure. Magical essence that can be traded for items or used for enchanting, so currencies. Tree settings. Let's go to the mountain. In Victorum, each mountain top will have an event. Some of the mountains will provide an interesting situation and grant you a choice. Others will only lead you to combat. Also, note the encroaching glowing circle behind you is the Inquisition Legion. If they catch up to your location, it will be a tough fight with no rewards. Oh no. Head into combat. Is there fall damage? <laughs> I think there's fall damage. <laughs> so single jump. That's sprint. Left mouse button. Does it hurt me? I can hold it also. Okay. Huh? Okay, what have I done here? <laughs> okay then. High velocity, multi shot, and high explosive. Is there any reason not to just use all three? <laughs> Thanks for the clip. <laughs> so, can I heal for that? There is nobody home. What have I done? Is that my house? I think I just blew up my own house. Spells drain mana first, then health. Okay. What's this one for? Ooh, I can teleport. Sprint, but it takes my stamina bar by the looks of it. Left alt to activate clairvoyance. Oh, there be there's things here. Okay, this allows me to see quest targets, healing items, and loot. Hi, Queen. Hi, Queen. If they're right there, what am I meant to do? High velocity, high explosive. I want to try and get them if I can. I can't use that right now. I'm hidden. Hello. 
you're above ish schedule on your move, that's cool. A lot of burp streaming. Oh, thanks, Shizuku. So, left alt for clairvoyance, right? What's that? What am I meant to do here? There's towers, a big purple thing. Begin casting a blink. How does this work? Or is it like that? Oh no, I don't want to fall. Why is it telling me how to blink when it's not letting me blink past something? I want to go up here. I don't think they're happy. What hurt me? The rubble has collision. Perfect. This is the best spot to stand. Can I get them? There we go. This is fine. Spell shaping makes the difference between a common wizard and a mighty Victorum. What's that for? Is that... That's weird. Time slows down while shaping, allowing you to plan your spell, but drains mana, it does. Can I cancel it when I'm when I'm done here? Or do I have to cast? I think I have to cast when I start. Each world location has a nexus. Once all towers are destroyed, pass through the portal in the center to travel to the world map. Health does not regenerate. You can only be healed by magical vendors, resting, or health potions found in buildings. A health potion here. Loot can sometimes be found in structures. Is that the red icon there? Probably one of these blue ones then. Be careful near beardings, falling rubble can damage your enemies and yourself. Healing. That wasn't much healing. Can I jump up? Please? Almost. Can I get up? I can get up there like that. <laughs> Capri's son? What's that? Pouch juice. I'm not sure what that is. So this is one of these things I have to destroy then, is it? Just like that. Hmm. Whoa! <laughs> I can't use that right. Probably could have just shot it from further down. <laughs> I'm going to stand in the middle of it to see if anything funny happens with physics. These are the speedrun strats, probably. What is that? What's that? Okay, there's still fall damage. Runes can be assigned to a spell's rune set and drastically change how a spell works. Okay, can I take it? Uh, is this how I use it? What, what have I got? A ring? I don't know what I got. I have velocity manifest. I think I got manifest. Only usable on fire and corrupted. Only usable on projectile. Which one should I swap out? Hmm. I 
feel like multi shot's a good one to have. Projectile speed and damage. High explosive. Or m more mana cost. But longer effect and duration. Can I just put it in? Ah! So does that mean if I use this, it would do something a bit different? Looks like it leaves fire. Spells are scribed in tomes and set to a spell shot. Select the slot in order to cast or shape a spell. Why this feels I feel like an awkward key for this. Uh flame strike tone fireball tone. Can call a burst of burning flame. Area of effect spell. Seems decent. If I make it last longer, that's high explosive. I was using my health because I was using the spell for too long. Active abilities like Blink grant incredible powers. They are set to a spell slot or imbued into a ring. They always have a cooldown and cannot be shaped. Can I change the controls to like use... Nothing uses tab, right? Uh... Inventory. I... Does anything use tab? I'd like tab to be my inventory. Doesn't look like it. I can have both. There we go. Loot item decoy scroll. How do I know where it goes? Uh, I'll shift to disenchant. I'm guessing it's based on the colour that goes to the ring. No. Yeah? Oh. Decoy scroll. Can be imbued into a ring or used like a spell type. No. It doesn't count as the ring. We can make it into a ring later. Decoy summons a temporary distraction. Seems decent. Can I cancel? Surely there's a way to cancel spells, right? Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> Change spell, right mouse button. Uh, is there a way to cancel? Cancel with H. Seems like a weird button. Is middle mouse used? player camera. Uh, yeah, it's used there. Is Z used? Ah, there we go. So if I start casting, I can cancel. What's this one? Passive abilities are always active. These can be imbued into items or equipped into a spell slot. into item. How do I imbue? This scroll contains incantations for an ability and can be imbued into an appropriate piece of armor or used like a spell toad. Movement speed is increased by 25%. That's pretty good. Nyum. 
Enchanting improves item spells and runes, or imbues or extracts an ability within an item. You can enchant within the inventory. Can I? I didn't see an enchant option. Hold shift to disenchant. Ah, it's enchanted with blink. So they're already enchanted. Bottom of the menu? Enchanting. Ah, uh, what's this mean? Decoy scroll. If I want to put this into... How would it work? Can I just put it straight into the ring or something? Hmm. So then it's got... It's still got blink then. I'm, I'm confused. <laughs> what is this? Area of effect ability lets us teleport. Now it's straight to a decoy. So is that does it even need the scroll for this? That's in view does that. Okay. I wanna do that, it makes it decoy instead. I don't like when I use this though. Interesting. Can I do things other than rings? Oh, I, that looks strange. Let's do the glove. So can I imbue that with this for example? No. What about this? Gloves of speed. Maybe boots of speed? Boots of speed works. Hmm. Passive ability for the boots. Probably worth it. Saves it taking a slot, I think. Transcribe into the tome to remove the cooldown. Unravel to get essence, that's like selling it, I think. Can I put it into the gloves? No. So this can only go to rings. I'll keep it here then for now. Then we can use decoys with the cooldown. Is that another ring? Another ring. This one's also got blink. Two blink rings doesn't make much sense. Oh no, that's not a blink ring. It's ice damage. Haste boots. And I should be able to enchant the, this ring with this for 20. There we go. That keeps the ice damage, but it also gives it the decoy option. We'll wear that ring, and now I can do it with E. I'm guessing that that means that we can't shape it like the other spells, but it means it's easier to spam with a cooldown. I see. Blink into decoy easily. A tower over there and a tower over there. Is this back where I came from? Let's destroy it. I 
can't use that right now. Hmm. So spell shape is a good idea. Hold the right mouse button to start the shape. High velocity manifest. Nice. What's this for? Ah, show me how to do it. So now that's all of them, so I go through the Nexus, I think? Uh, tutorial character suffered grievous wounds that day, clearly. Tutorial character killed everyone he could find, such was his rage. Local records indicated on that day a god of magic rained down destruction on the mountain top. Oops! <laughs> I might be the villain here. <laughs> Tutorial character inspected his findings after he reached the Nexus. Well, the area was just as impoverished as most, if only little essence. Choose a random item. Hmm. Better armor. Another ring. Or tremor tone. gives us more mana and better mana regeneration, that's probably a good option. This spell as well. Hmm. I think I'll take the armor. I can equip that here, right? Perfect. vendor that could provide healing and supplies. Let's go there. And that's where I'm being chased from. Locations marked by houses and a green particle effect are friendly shopkeepers willing to do business with the Victorum. You can buy items and heal at these locations. Your character won't persist beyond the tutorial. Okay, so heal. I can't use that that's right how now. it works. And buying things. Lightning bolt might work. So we need more spells for sure. Lightning projectile. There we go. Work better. Slight movement speed and casting speed debuff. It makes us stronger and makes the lightning work better. That would go well with the lightning thing I'm using. Do I want it? Kinda. Wait, is that armor? Is it? Yeah, that's the that's the shoulders. Wrong thing. Those ones there. Nice. Magical gloves. More health and more resistance. Blep. <laughs> Hi, Mercury. Hmm. Another blink ring. Oh, no, that's not a blink ring. That's a arcane damage. I could get these. New gloves too. There we go. Tutorial end. Uh, this location marked by a pillar of light is the end of the chapter. Click the next chapter button in the bottom right to end the tutorial. See, so that's the basics. Let's begin for real. A shorter, a hardcore version. A casual, long play mode. A single chapter adventure. 
Only three chapters. Guess classic. Unlocked. So there's a lot to unlock here. Customized character. Hardcore. Do we want permadeath? Maybe. Difficulty. Medium. Sure. It can look different too. It's time. Helmet of shame. <laughs> Do I think I can handle it? I'm gonna die. Isn't that half the fun? There we go. Helmet of shame and beard. Corruption glow. Uh, skin tone. I can be whatever colors I want. Hold on. What kind of wizard are we going to be? Hood's nice. Hmm. Time to make a character look weird. Yeah. Santa Claus is better? You want Santa Claus hat? <laughs> okay. Mustache and chin. Are we actually going to be Santa? Let's be Santa. <laughs> there we go. Uh, character name Chloe. This isn't a Chloe, it's literally Santa. <laughs> Skin tone. Uh, how do I do this? Old color without alpha. Without alpha. What do you mean without alpha? Can I put an alpha in here? We don't need skin. Less zero alpha. Does it work? Not sure if it's changing anything. You tell me I can. We can be Shrek Santa. Not nearly as bad as the humankind. Hair color must be grey. Uh, where's the uh, the hex that would be? It's just eight or something. Goblin Santa. You didn't know you could do that? What do you mean? We need yellow highlights. Uh, hex. Uh, does that work? There we go. Can I change the kind of thing? No. Armor color. Uh, you couldn't get yourself to look the screen? You just dragged the slider! <laughs> okay, armor. Uh, like that. The leather needs to be gold as well. It is red. The armor's red, the leather's yellow. That leather should be... armor should be grey. Hold on. Leather should be red. Uh, this is... I'm going for red here. Make it look like me for the skin colour. Red skin? I could. I'll go... I'll come back to it. Leather armor needs to be red. Go. Accent is gold. 
red skin. And cloth, where's this changing? That bit. Uh, green. Very green. We'll make our skin that green too. Like, very green. Or we can do red. Complete red. Like this? In a, in a Christmas hat. Cloth color. What color should the cloth be? Probably gray. We need more gray. Alright. Eight works better than six. There we go. Like, like this, this is what you want. <laughs> you like this? And <laughs> their name is Santa. Oh no. <laughs> save custom save. Santa, the fire brand. <laughs> We're ready. <laughs> Why do games keep giving me character customization? From Goblin to Jin. Pretty much. The story of Santa, the fire brand. Chapter 1. It was impossible, of course, but Santa was a Victorum. The last one. And by stretching the very limits of his power of creation itself, he survived his own execution. Such power comes with a price, however, and his body was warped with corruption, his mind scarred with the brief, blazing glimpse of the world that moment gave him, of the horrors of the miasma. And the Inquisition, its endless armies already stirring, a hand scenting the magical trace of his miracle. Santa could not run away. <laughs> I can't read this with a straight face. <laughs> Not forever, but he would run toward. He cast his vision onto his map, marking the way to the Grand Inquisitor. Marked with red. Marked with blood. It was a Grand Inquisitor who had decreed Santa would die, and it was his death he would receive. Oh jeez. <laughs> Where are we? We're here? So we have options. Inquisition opposition. We can go here. Corrupted. Light outcast. Hmm. Hmm. I'm thinking down here. This looks like a good spot to go. Skip that. Probably. I don't know, let's go back. I don't know how fast the things are going to move that are chasing me. Let's go straight to the corrupted things. Santa had read of the glacial beauty of Sengard, and despite the grim nature of his quest, he was looking forward to seeing it as he passed through. But upon his arrival, he found the pristine ice blue town smeared with blood from a recent massacre and infested with corrupted. Uh, are we advancing on them? Our options are 1. Enraged, Santa advanced upon the twisted things. He had never seen so many of the corrupted outside the mist, but they had never seen fury embodied in flesh either. 2. It was not clear if the entire town had been massacred, or if most the living had evacuated. As much as he might have wished otherwise, the firebrand had neither time nor resources to attend to Sengard. Santa is angry. <laughs> they're, they're on the naughty list. have to destroy these towers then? Enraged. I don't think they like that. Are they friendly? <laughs> Are you friendly? Hi. 
<laughs> hey, Santa's hat green. <laughs> that makes it even better. <laughs> Basic spells seem to be working fine here. <laughs> what? Why are they running? <laughs> come back! <laughs> I come bearing gifts. <laughs> like how he just pushes past me to go down the down the stairs. Ooh, bookshelf. What's here? Frozen spear tome. That's perfect for the season. Let's go. We are now an ice visit. No rune, no rune. Oh, we, is high velocity our only option here? <laughs> Thanks for the follow, Kiara Linus. I'm not scary, I'm helping! Look! See? Helping! Hello! <laughs> oh no, yeah. They're gonna live a while. They're doing good. So, ice spear? We, are, we only have one thing here. It's the. What about these? Can't I just equip? I why can I not use that? I can't use that right now. Oh, is it because this one... Uh, they only work on fire and corrupted spells, not an ice spell. Well, we are Santa, so we must use high velocity ice spike compared to slow velocity. Is the velocity that different? It doesn't feel different. Can I walk on these? No. Yeah, I'm a cool wizard. I'm th this wizard is called Santa, and we're basically wiping out all the enemies from this town. Quest enemies killed and townsfolk remaining. Yeah, let's, not let's stop chasing the townsfolk. I think we're scaring them. Ooh, there's things in here. Hello. Just healing potions. I can only drink them, not pick them up. I'll save it for later. And... There they are. They're all over here. <laughs> Santa wizard. This is the naughty list. Oh no. Good thing I remembered where those house potions were, am I right? You can't sneak up on Santa. Ow. <laughs> Force door? No, 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 what's that? What's that in here? Chainmail gloves of habit. Just what Santa needs. When you're on the naughty list, Santa takes from you. Physical resistance. Seems decent. There we go. <laughs> Can you imagine Santa walking around in chainmail? This is beautiful. Wait. Why are they surviving it? <laughs> Santa's upgraded from giving coal to giving fireballs and ice lances. Exactly! Thanks for the bit, Scud Launcher. Nyum. Santa has definitely evolved.
Oh, and it's fast, it goes through them. A dab. Why do you make me do a dab? No! That, that dab was weak, I need to try again. <laughs> Tempest bacon? Okay. Yeah. There you go. There's your dab. Did I get them all? Wait, did the game crash? Oh no. It crashed. Well, that was worth tabbing out for.